Hey guys, Subri Subi here, and in today's video, I wanna talk about why there is no such thing as solo founder businesses. The reason that I believe that there is no such thing as just, you know, a sole founder business, even there might not be that there are co-founders within that business, but I believe that all businesses really do have a co-founder. That co-founder is a silent co-founder. Somebody that doesn't get to take a lot of the credit or a lot of the shine is not out like, you know, as a public figure for the company, but are very, very instrumental in the success of that company. And you might be thinking like, who the hell is this silent co-founder that you're talking about? That silent co-founder is the partner of the founder of the business, whether it's a wife or husband or what have you. That person plays such a pivotal role in the founder being able to go out there and produce and to show up every day and go to war. And if there is anything above anything that I see that hold back a lot of business owners, it's that they are not on the same page as their spouse. Their spouse and their partner is like a negative anchor that weighs them down. And it's kind of like they're driving the business with the handbrake on. Now, I don't mean that person's constantly like biting at them and nagging them and whining them or doing all of those things. It doesn't have to be as black and white as that. Let me unpack it a little bit. What I mean is that like, if you're going to work, running a business is hard work, right? There's always constant problems that you're looking to solve. And you never get to a place where there are no problems. The problems just get bigger and hairier, yet you've got an army of people if you go from just yourself to hiring a team that can help you solve these problems. But you're never ever gonna get to a place where there aren't lots of bushfires going on, lots of problems to solve, right? There is always gonna be some problems within your business. And if you're doing that, and if you're showing up in the marketplace and you're pushing and you're shoving to go out there and make it happen, and you've got somebody that is not on the same page that you go home every night and sleep next to, then that is going to detract from the level of focus and intensity that you can be executing on your business. The most powerful powerful thing that I can see that is like releasing the handbrake and letting that engine just purr down the freeway as fast as it possibly can go is sitting down with your partner. You might be saying like, hey, like I don't, I don't have a partner right now. I'm single or whatever it might be. I can tell you that there's somebody in your life that you spend a lot of time with, that person that you may vent to from time to time, or is in the stands cheering and rallying for you and they're your, your biggest fan. When we're talking about specifically about a partner, you know, a wife, a husband, a spouse, whatever that person looks like for you, is sitting down and just both getting on the same page. Like, okay, baby, this is what it is that we're, that we're trying to do. These are all the things that I've got on the agenda this year, this decade, this is what it is that I want, right? That I want for us. What is it that you, you want? More so than you just saying, hey, this is what I want. It's about building that together with your partner and thinking about like, okay, this is the type of lifestyle that we want to build. This is the type of life that we want to build. These are the things that are important to us. These are the things that we're going to sacrifice. These are the things, this is the promised land. This is what the destination looks like. This is what we are, what we're waking up and we're pushing and we're shoving, right? For every day. And then getting very, very clear on what that destination looks like because most people don't ever to do this and it's absolute madness to think that you can spend your life with somebody and not sit down and just get clear on the destination that you're trying to drive to. Now, you might think like you might sit down with your partner and go, hey, like this is the things that, you know, I would love for us. These are This is the type of lifestyle that I want. These are the things that I value. These are the things I don't wanna have to give up. These are the things I'm willing to give up. How does this align with what it is that you want? And hopefully you're with somebody that shares these same things for you, but it's not always the case. But wouldn't you rather know that now, right? <laughs> rather than five years from now, rather than three years from now. And you know, they might be like, no, like I'm not willing to give those things up right? Or I don't want to do this, or I don't want to do that. You know, you have to have a hard look at yourself where you're at and what it is that you're doing and say, what are the big boulders that I absolutely unequivocally will not move? 
And if you can't find alignment uh, with bo what you both want, then you're never going to get any of the things that you want because you're gonna be going through life, grinding gears, going up against friction. And it's a very quick way to find out whether or not this is the person that you should be spending the rest of your life with. And I know that's very deep for a YouTube video, but it's the truth, right? So hopefully you've had these conversations along the way and this is not like, wow, well, baby, I didn't know that you wanted that. Like, we never discussed that, right? Like, they should obviously, these conversations should happen in, in small steps along the way. And then when you have this, let's get on the same page thing, it just irons out the details. This is not like dirt that you can just sweep under the rug. It's something that you need to bring out into the sunlight and air and shine light on and discuss and get alignment so that you can really run a lot faster. Then once you've got that clearly defined, you're both in the ship, rowing in the right direction, in the same direction together, and you're like, yep, I know what it is. Then it's about dividing and conquering what it is that needs to be done in order to achieve that together as a team. Because that is really what a partnership is. That's what a family is. It is a team of cohesive people that are all trying to optimize to live in some way that's gonna be of value to them because this is your life, right? So then just doing that and just getting aligned is incredibly powerful. It gives you so much more gusto in life to go out there and do it. And then once you're clear on that, and then you start dividing and conquering, and then you can just be like, like what is it that you need for me, right? You know that I'm gonna be going to work, throwing down, running this business, dealing with all this stuff, but all of that aside, like what do you need from me? What is it that I can do that, that you absolutely love, that you need, that is the thing that you want from me outside of what my responsibilities are? What are the things that I do that you hate, that you don't want, right? That make you not feel great, that detract from us living this best life that we're trying to optimize for. Just doing that gives you so much clarity. Like, okay, this is what I know that I need to do. This is what I shouldn't do, you know? And then this is what I need from you, right? This is the support that I need from you. When I've had a rough day and this happens and this is what I need, this is what I don't like. These are the things that, you know, I'm willing to sacrifice. And just getting clear on those things, right? And understanding that that person plays such an instrumental part of your success. I know that for instance, me, I certainly wouldn't be able to do any of the stuff that I've been able to do without my wife, without my partner, right? Without that person in my corner that's going to war for me. When you get clear on what those things are and you look at the responsibilities, you look at what it is that you want to achieve as a family, as a couple, as a kind of life that you're looking to do, then it becomes about not wanting to let other people down as well, right? When you're having a rough day and you don't feel like going to the gym, calling that prospect, dealing with that client, doing whatever it is that you need to do, you realize that it's not just for you. You've made a commitment to your family, to your partner, to that unit your lack of commitment is offensive to those people that rely on you. So then it becomes less about you being selfish and optimizing for you, but optimizing for your little unit, your family, your partnership, and what's best for you guys. And you'll be willing to you know, walk over hot coals and do the crawling over crushed glass to get to the promised land because it's a lot bigger than just yourself. And it's a commitment that you've made. So as such, if you know, all businesses really do have a silent co-founder, you know, it's just very important to make sure that you understand those dynamics and you understand that whatever success that you're seeing in your business and sometimes unfortunately lack of success, a lot of that can be attributed also to your partner, right? And that dynamic that you have set the, the certain values or lack of values that you've established and the standards of what will be accepted and what will be tolerated. So just as you're, you know, you might be coming off a monster month, a great year, just make sure that you recognize that silent co-founder and do those special things that make them happy. Give them that hat tip, that acknowledgement. And, you know, as much as when you've got the right partner, they're the ones that are like, you know, rallying for you. They're in their corner, in your corner, they're, they're your biggest fans, you know, is also letting them know that you're their biggest fan, right? And that they are equally responsible for all the successes that you've got. 
And I hope that you're not in this position right now and you're going through a place where the business isn't doing so great and you're having some setbacks, is understanding that a lot of that comes from also lack of alignment and having that conversation with your partner. If you're a solo founder of the business, don't wear that title so proudly, like a lot of people do. Think about that, hey, there is a lot. You may, maybe you don't have a partner, maybe it's your mother that you lean on, maybe it's your father, right? Maybe it's your sister, your brother, whatever it might be. There's gonna be somebody along the way that has instrumentally helped you get to where it is that you wanna go. And understanding that, you know, that you're a byproduct of also your environment and the support and the upbringing and everything you've had. And just make sure to acknowledge those people. And if, if anything, if you take one thing away from this video, it's about sitting down and getting on the same page as your partner. Once you do this, once the objective is clear, once you viscerally know what the promised land looks like and everybody that is in the ship is rowing in the same direction, the overall throughput that you get in your business and the amount that you're able to achieve, it's really like you know compressing decades into just months. You get so much more power and activity from that alignment. So wherever you are in your business, I hope this message serves you. Hey guys, if you're enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button as we're dropping a video like this every other day on YouTube. And if you've got any questions, just leave a comment below with hashtag HeySubri and I will do my best to get to it.